John, being an agent, arrives at the exhibition to prevent a crime. Inspector Das immediately orders to cordon off the entire building, adding that the world's most wanted thief Nolan is preparing to steal Cleopatra's egg, the main object of the exhibition. Taking data from the thermal imaging camera reveals that the egg for some reason does not reflect heat. John immediately confiscates the kid's soda and confirms that the egg has already been stolen. The exhibit hall closes immediately and Nolan starts to run away. Along the way, the guy changes his clothes and blends in with the crowd while John tries to push the doors open. But the mountain of muscle pretty quickly catches up with Nolan again, who masterfully cuts his way through, and all he has to do is climb the scaffolding to the top floor. But John is already waiting for the thief. The agent orders him to give him the egg, but they are distracted by Agent Das, moving the chase outside the building. Luck is on Nolan's side and he quietly descends the pipe, then escapes with ease. And here we are in Bali 56 hours later. Nolan arrives at his small house, but John was already here too. Along with the local SWAT team, he shocks Nolan. Das immediately seizes the egg. Nolan has escaped from prison six times in his past, but this time, they chose the worst place on the planet for him. True, before being sent to prison, John notices that Nolan isn't interested in money, because the guy wants to run away and prove to someone that he's better than anyone else. A little while later, someone tampered with the egg and though John suspects something, he never manages to find the culprit. And here we are 32 hours later in Rome. Dust finally realizes that the egg has been stolen, but there is also a slight flaw in the agent's case. Why did John get several million dollars the day the egg went missing? Of course John tries to convey that he is innocent, but Dust doesn't care about that and she has already prepared a special place for him. Russia. John arrives at the most dangerous prison in the world. It's simply impossible to escape from this prison, as it's located at the top of a mountain and the only way out is a flimsy canopy bridge to the landing pad. It turns out that with him in the same cell will live none other than Nolan. Nolan is well aware that they were fooled by another of the world's most wanted thieves, Bishop. The guy also mentions why everyone wants to get their hands on those eggs. It turns out that an Egyptian billionaire is willing to give 300 million if the thief can get all three eggs on his daughter's wedding day. True, no one in the world knows where the third egg is hidden. But the second egg is owned by the gun baron, whose parties are held in complete anonymity at his estate, and that's where his treasure is kept. Suddenly, Nolan starts screaming to the entire dining room that John is not a cop, because he is just an FBI agent. All this is noticed by one of the local jocks and gently hints that death is about to come to the agent. John tries to turn the incident into a peaceful one, but the jock doesn't think so, and a scuffle ensues. While the cons are praising the jock, the guards drag our duo away. John immediately orders Nolan not to joke around like that anymore, but they are distracted by the patrol, because the local boss, who is Bishop, is waiting for them. It turns out that in 48 hours she intends to steal the second egg, while the third will help find Nolan. And we find out that in fact Nolan knows where it is hidden, he just didn't want to tell John about it. He also doesn't want to tell Bishop. To make them think better, the worst days of their lives await them, so the duo are transferred to hard labor, where they decide to become a team. A new day arrives, and Nolan has already come up with a three-step escape plan. The first is to mix soap and pure glycerin with nitric acid, producing a huge explosion in the room followed by a scuffle. And step number two was done back in the first day, because the fight scene in the dining room was just to steal the keycard. All our duo has to do is pull out the pebble and expose the window of freedom. And now they just have to walk along the precipice, hoping that no one will slip, or John will back them up. Already on the takeoff pad, the security guard doesn't notice the duo, as he's looking through pictures of Putin to Russian songs. But the guard notices them and John instantly starts shooting back while Nolan knocks out the pilot and starts the helicopter. At the same time, the guard manages to point an RPG at John, who tries to run to the helicopter over the bridge. Nolan, not wanting to lose his comrade, opens fire with a minigun, overwhelming the guards. This is just enough time for John to jump aboard the helicopter, while the guard is again aimed by the RPG at John. But the agent simply opens another door releasing a rocket to fly on. And so, London. 
Bishop captures an information analyst in order to hack into his computer and send a message to Interpol that their friends have escaped. And our duo has already contacted a friend of Nolan's named Tamway, and he has a brand new plane for them. He also gives a plan of the gun baron's house, where the second egg is located. Nolan devises a plan to use a secret loophole to get into the warehouse. As for the security system, it is obvious that every inch of the house is under surveillance. There are two armed guards at every door in the house, who are changed at the changeover signal, which only lasts 45 seconds. There are also 95 cameras throughout the house with no blind spots. The doors to the vault are protected by a half-meter titanium door with a biological lock. For the biological lock, they are helped by a dip face, and the password must be found in the phone of their victim, the Baron himself. Valencia. Our duo arrives at a party at the Baron's house. While John pretends to be a guest, Nolan pretends to be a waiter. John fairly quickly finds Bishop, who is amazed by his disguise. But their idol is interrupted by the Baron, from whom John immediately steals the phone. But our thieves have no idea that Agent Das is among them. The Baron begins to make his speech and Nolan activates the second step. The guy pours wine on John, which allows him to be taken to the restroom through the guards. Here, Nolan hacks into the cameras while covering the door and then activates a 45-second timer to get to the moment the guards change and sneak into the Baron's room. The titanium door is instantly opened by the dip-face program, exposing all the Baron's treasures. But this is noticed by the guards, including Agent Das. John instantly whips out his gun and locks the titanium door. But by this point in time, Bishop has also infiltrated the vault. A scuffle ensues, but our duo didn't stand a chance against the Wonder Woman. Soon the Baron himself enters the vault, for he was on Bishop's side from the start. A new day arrives. Our duo comes to their senses already tied up. Bishop wants to ask Nolan where the third egg is hidden. But they torture John for some reason, hoping his partner will tell them everything. And Nolan, not wanting to see John tortured, confesses where the third egg can be found, and to be more exact he says it is in Egypt. The bishop drinks champagne with the baron and he instantly falls asleep. But as soon as he comes to, he immediately starts shooting. One of the bullets breaks the handcuffs and frees our duo. But the exit from the basement leads them straight to the bullring. Both of our heroes run like hell to save their lives. After a while, John admits that his father was a better thief, but one day he disappeared, leaving his family behind. By this he shows that they are quite similar and that only together can they defeat Bishop. Upon hearing this story, Nolan does tell that after World War II, a certain German officer traveled to Argentina and took a small suitcase with him. All the next 70 years enthusiasts tried to find Hitler's secret bunker somewhere in South America, including his father, who one day bought that very German's watch, inside which the coordinates were hidden. After several days, our duo still managed to find a secret passage to the bunker. To their great surprise, the electricity still works in it. When they opened the armored door, a whole warehouse of various artifacts was waiting for them, where among them the third egg was hidden. Suddenly Bishop shows up in the bunker, who didn't believe Nolan's story and kept an eye on the duo. But at the moment of handing the egg over to Bishop, Agent Das, and the SWAT team join their meeting. A fierce firefight ensues. All that was left for our adventurers was to steal an armored car and break through a hidden passageway. But they had no idea that a cliff awaited them at the very end of the road. Nolan gets ashore pretty quickly, along with the egg. But he doesn't see John and leaves his lifelong dream to save his friend. It turns out that the friend has already made it ashore and kisses Bishop in front of Nolan. As we understand it, they have always been together. Transported to Cairo. An Egyptian billionaire finally gets the treasure. But Das bursts into the wedding and seizes the treasure, because it was acquired illegally. Sardinia, six months later. Nolan finally finds a couple he's already stolen all their money from. And the guy already has a job for them, but for three people. This is the end of the film. Thank you all for watching, please like this video. Write in the comments what you think of this movie, and see you in new videos.